She lives in a trailer, nothing wrong with that, that you've, so you're directing it to her, remodeled and furnished with your donations. Now, there's your problem. So what you're saying in that part of the sentence is she has misappropriated funds that she collected for her 501c3 and used it for her own personal benefit. Prove it. And you only have a couple of minutes. So get busy. Well, get busy. I, I don't have the proof because she would never open up her books for us to look at it. Well, so you have no proof. I mean, I have pictures of things, but... And she okay, well, never you, posted vet records. Well, so then that's something that you can't say to her. She lives in a trailer that she's remodeled and furnished. That would have been fine. With your donations is not fine. Got it? She has adopted roughly out 30 dogs with no home visit done. How do you know that? I don't. It's what we were as... Shh, just a second. You don't. And where is an adoption of that adoption fee money? She charges an adoption fee for each dog she's adopted out, plus all of her fundraising. Is that against the law? No. No one bully rescue supports her. Well, that's your opinion. She adopts sick bullies. One needed a tail amputation. So what? Well, you usually have them healthy before you adopt them out to a new home. She paid for the tail amputation. Yes. Through whatever organization it was. I have another one where the person adopted out a dog and she refused to pay for the vet bills. Bring up that person. Oh, I don't have them. Well, that's too bad. Who did you bring with you? Ruth Ann. She's a director of a huge rescue. Oh, I don't need somebody. I need somebody to address these allegations, that they're factual basis for what you wrote in here, some of which is accusing her of a crime, some of which just slanders her. But if they're true, if what you're saying is she refused to pay for the medical bills of one dog, I would well, like I to hear that person. Well, I have it in writing. No, you don't have it in writing unless you have the person here. That's hearsay. Okay. You do understand that anyone has the right to look at your books and records if you're a 501c3 organization. Yes, ma'am. Did the defendant make an application to look at your books and records of your 501c3? She sent a message via Facebook wanting to see them. Other than a Facebook message that she wanted to examine your books, did yes, she ever make a formal application to examine the books and records of your organization? No, ma'am. Did you ever make a formal application other than a Facebook message to examine her books and records? No, other people had... Just a second. Bring them here. I'd like to hear people who had made a formal application and would deny that. You were coming to court today. That's your burden. You know what you were being sued for. I don't know if she's running an operation, and I don't know whether she helped herself to some of that money and remodeled her trailer. It's your burden to prove that she did, because you're the one who put it in here, accusing her of breaking the law, as a result of which she lost a lot of people, and according to her, she closed down her operation. Now, now it's up to you to show damages, because I've already determined that she has defamed you. Can I say one thing? She made a Facebook post in her bulldog rescue stating she was closing down her rescue due to her husband's cancer and not because of the post. May I see it? And Fine, because as we're on, we're on the issue of damages and her damages is she says that she was forced to close down the rescue because of you. Oh, you say, you thank everybody, and you say that it's been a difficult few months, you've made some mistakes, you've had some successes, you've had some failures. But right now, I'm letting you know, with my next year ahead, rescue is not part of my daily schedule. I will be closing my dreams rescue as of September 2nd to focus on what really need to be. Yes, ma'am. my husband. This has nothing to do with the posts that you may have seen. This is solely because I have obligations ahead. If you keep turning, you'll Shh. find her divorce she filed for on her sick husband. I don't. And that has what to do with my dogs? Your character. Okay.